mi smo znali šta to znači. U slučaju da nastavimo rat, mi bi ga morali voditi sami. Dakle, bez Hrvata i sa osudom svijeta. Takav rat nije imao nikakvih šansi za Bosanca. But Izzet Begovic told the Americans he would need to sell the ceasefire to his people. He said, okay, we want the water, the electricity and the gas turned on. Istina, htjeli smo da dobijemo na vremenu još. Ja sam prihvatio preki 2-3 uroka od 5 dana pod uvjetom da se otvori Sarajevo. See you. Uuuu, rodilo nam brate. Evo ga dobro pravo. The longest siege in modern history was over. I'm pleased to announce that the parties in Bosnia have agreed to a ceasefire to terminate all hostile military activities. The president's men rushed to turn the ceasefire into a peace treaty. They would apply all America's diplomatic muscle. They chose an unlikely venue. Welcome to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, one of the largest and most diverse United States Air Force installations. With his re-election looming, President Clinton gambled that cooped up in the base, the three Balkan presidents would hammer out a deal. He gave his men 17 days to twist their arms. Are you optimistic about the talks? I am. Uh, if I am not, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. Thank you. The Americans' hope for peace depended on the man they once called a war criminal. How confident are you the talks will succeed, sir? Come over here. How confident are you the talks will succeed? Well, I'm optimist. I believe the talks will succeed. We attach the great importance to peace initiative of the United States. On behalf of President Clinton, I welcome you to the start of these historic peace talks. If we fail, the war will resume and future generations will surely hold us accountable. And then I walked around to the other side of the table where they had been carefully placed and I sort of pushed them together and urged them to shake hands, which they, which they did. Izzet Begovic knew these talks would ratify the division of his country. He'd already agreed to share half of Bosnia with his dangerous allies, the Croats. The rest would go to the Serbs. From the start, Izek Begovic told his Prime Minister to conduct the talks. We cannot survive the death. We cannot survive the 17,000 children dead in Bosnia. But we can get some justice here, and that justice means a fully functional Bosnian state. Integrity, sovereignty, justice, democracy. Thank you. Okay. The constitution of a new Bosnian state was to be drafted here. Powers were stripped from the central government and given to the Muslim Croat Federation and the Serb Republic. No one wanted these ceasefire lines as permanent boundaries, but attempt after attempt to change them led to deadlock. I had always had in my mind a 17-day conference, and here we were on day 16, and we were nowhere further than we'd been on day 11. It was a very cold and biting day, but I said to Milosevic, let's walk. And Chris Hill and Milosevic and I took off a come by security guards and we walked out to the edge of the base and around the fence. And we ended up at the, uh, at the officers' club at about quarter of 12. Holbrook's assistant then invited the Bosnian prime minister to the officers' club. Maybe we could get them together and they could at least talk like, you know, human beings. I went over to say hello to Silajdic and I told him that Milosevic wanted to talk about Garajda. And he wanted to come to my table. He said no. The fact that he comes to my table gives him, in a way, a psychological advantage. That he is doing something, that he is making a concession, and so on. So I said, no, I'll go to his table. <laughs> These are the bulk, small Balkan ways. They began to speak in serbo croatian And uh, Milosevic was saying to Harris, Harris, you know, what do you want? What he asked for was security 
for Gorajda, the one remaining Muslim enclave in eastern Bosnia. We wouldn't leave it as an enclave there. We had to connect it territorially with the rest of Bosnia. Kriza u Bosni i Hercegovini može se rešiti samo političkim putem. Ne može se rešiti vojnim sredstvima. And he said enough is enough. I'll connect it. I will do that. You can get a road under the international control from Gorazde to the territory. It was agreed that NATO would build the Garage de Sarajevo road. So now Milosevic had to negotiate with the Americans just how much Serb land he'd give up for it. So that night I brought President Milosevic into our little map room where we had these high-tech video games used to make more precise bombing. Uh, we had the entire aerial photograph of the entire country and you could fly with a joystick over any part of the country stop look straight down look sideways go up go down prvo mi stalno na pameti kad je holbrook pogledao na ekran bosnu vidim li ja to ovdje nema ništa ovdje su samo planine nema kuće nema sela ti kažemo tačno nema ali takva je bosna i ovo on suhat je za glavu they had to find a corridor through the mountains that was wide enough to be made defensible for the new road to Garajde. And we began to, quote, fly President Milosevic up and down a road that ran through the mountains from Garajde to Sarajevo, which, would, which, if upgraded, might do the trick. We did this till about two in the morning while a great amount of alcohol was consumed. So finally, Milosevic stuck out his hand to me and said, okay, this is it. And he drank a toast, Richard Charles Albert Holbrook, we have found our road. Level 27 to lane 14. The Americans were determined to wrap it up by their Thanksgiving holiday, now only a week away. But the Muslims were in no mood to make any compromise. I misli su da se to da prevazići ovaj nekakvim sastancima kao da se kao da se radilo o nekim ličnim sukobima. Međutim izna između nas su stajale praktički ogromna groblja i hrpe leševa. The Bosnians had to be persuaded to play ball. One method of persuasion we wanted to use on uh, the Bosnians was two big charts, sometimes they're called storyboards, which described the number of things that they were achieving. What they had achieved was more territory. The Muslim Croat Federation had been promised 51% of Bosnia to the Serbs 49. Christopher's chart showed that the Garajda corridor took them well over their 51%. We showed that to Izabekovic as part of the reason to urge him to conclude this deal. Don't, don't let this deal get away. On the top of one of the panels, big letters, the Federation gains 58% of the territory. And when he left, that panel was left in President Izabekovic's room between the couch and the, and the, and the, and the night case, the, the lamp place and so on. So the only thing that you could actually see if you sit in the room, where well, the Federation has 58%. And then Milosevic came <laughs> to visit President Izabegovic, and what he saw was that. <laughs> Milosevic didn't see the humor of it. He strode over to the U.S. delegation. He erupted. He said, I didn't know that, I didn't know that I'd given up this much territory. I said, I'm very sorry. He said, you know, only 5149 can work, and that is our commitment. Holbrook had no choice. He gave the two sides until midnight the next day to agree to a 5149 map. But the Muslims refused to give up a single parcel of land until they'd been satisfied on their key demand. From 